Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. So today in this video we'll be learning about the probabilistic analysis of a slope. Uh, what does it mean by the uh, probabilistic analysis? It means that how much there is a probability of a slope to get failed. So this is what we'll analyze. So let's solve an example and we'll try to understand the whole procedure in a very simple way. So firstly we'll start uh, with analysis project setting here you define the uh, basic terms like uh, stress units you can change the stress units metric to imperial then time uh, unit and permeability unit as this software can be used for slope stability as well as uh, for the seepage analysis and can be used for both as well so in this video will be uh, will only uh, talk about the slope stability so uh, that is why uh, we have no concern about the permeability in this video for this specific very video so uh, failure direction what does it mean by failure direction right to left and left to right let me make you understand through a very simple example let's say this is an example uh, this is uh, uh, upstream side of the embankment and this is downstream side of the embankment so uh, this slope will fail in this manner from this direction to this direction so it becomes right to left what does it mean if you want to analyze the upstream slope then you will have to select right to left here you will have to select right to left so if you want to analyze the downstream slope then you will have to select uh, left to right so this is the purpose of this uh, these two terms then data output standard and maximum standard uh, is used when we have to analyze the minimum global uh, surfaces so uh, we usually use the, the standard so material properties and support you can maximum define 20 type of materials and the 20 type of sports if you have defined 20 here if you want to define more uh, material types then you will have to change it so next uh, methods there are different methods uh, from which you can analyze the uh, uh, slope stability so we want to uh, check the slope stability from uh, different methods then you will have to check this box okay so yes 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 so i have select all of them number of slices if you want to uh, divide your slope in the results into number of slices you can define the number of slices so if i change it 25 to 20 then you will get the 20 number of slices and so on tolerance and a maximum iterations it's very simple thing then here comes the uh inter interface uh inter slice force function so inter slice force function i'll describe this uh, uh if you click here this thing in the uh, end results or uh, i'll explain it in another video so uh, i'll i'll make you understand what does this what this uh, function means basically so uh, we'll move to the another uh, method groundwater uh, water surfaces grid and uh, steady state finite element analysis fe e fe stands for steady state finite element analysis these methods are related to the seepage analysis when we are to uh, uh, perform the seepage analysis in the coming uh, videos then we'll discuss about these methods so in the coming uh, in this video will select water surfaces so advanced method uh, transient analysis and excess port pressure method and rapid drawdown method will be uh, discussed in the future video so for this uh, if here transient analysis uh, when we are performing transient analysis then we'll have to check this box but in the uh, this time we'll have uh, we don't want to perform transient analysis will not uh, check it so here the statistics here is the very important two terms you can see here right now we are discussing about the probabilistic analysis we can perform the sensitivity analysis in the next video so i'll check the probabilistic analysis here you can see the sampling method monte carlo monte carlo simulation technique is a very useful technique in the statistic to uh, find out the probability of a failure so here you can select the another method as well but uh, this is the most commonly used method number of samples it will use thousand so uh, global minimum will select okay random numbers and uh, these things will be discussed later so we'll have to click okay now 
uh, we'll go to the boundaries and we'll add the external boundary I will select a simple example and we'll add the coordinates you can follow these coordinates uh, as well 0 0 and then 130 0 0 130 50 130 50 then comes 80 50 And 50 30 and then 0 30 so click OK now you will close this boundary and, and now it's a simple geometry the next step is to define the uh, properties material properties we'll click this uh, define material properties for this case we'll uh, assume it a homogeneous material so I will define the material one as soil soil one and we'll uh, we'll take these properties as it is like unit weight is 20 this can be selected when we have when we provide the groundwater table so in this uh, video will not provide the uh, groundwater table so we'll use the simple Mohur Coulomb uh, model we can uh, use the other models according to the specific conditions but in this case we'll use the Mohur Coulomb model these uh, cases will be discussed in the in next videos so uh, strength will uh, will not uh, change the properties uh, but will remain uh, uh, will not change these properties so we'll keep it as it is question one and the five internal angle friction 35 are you a value is the uh, uh, value when we use it uh, as one then it means the maximum pore water pressure is considered so it's uh, related to the pore water pressure so we'll not change it okay now what we'll do next is surfaces go to surface auto grade option we'll uh, click okay so then right click and display option will take the show grid option why we define this grid because there will be a slip circle that slip circle uh, has a center uh, that will lie uh, here uh, in this grid so this grid provides basically a reference point that is why we we need to define this now uh, the process is uh, over uh now we'll go to the uh, uh properties and uh, go to the uh, statistics and define material so here is the very important thing now we'll go to add and you will see we'll have to select oh, which material properties you want to check uh, the probability so soil one we have only define so select no actually we have to select one soil only we'll have to uncheck so clear all firstly we'll select this one and then next here uh, you will have to select the random variable so we'll select three random variables which are very important in case of shear strength uh, or safety factor of uh, slope so we'll not select the RU coefficient we'll go to the next now uh, the statistical distribution will use the normal distribution and then finish so no we have cohesion by unit weight I will uh, have the mean value 1 35 and 20 now we have to define three things standard deviation relative mean and relative maximum so uh, the if you are using the normal distribution then uh, for a normal distribution 99.7 percent of all samples should uh, fall within three standard deviations of mean value therefore it is recommended uh, it is recommended that relative minimum and maximum should be three times of the uh, mean value so what i will do is i will take standard deviation as uh, one how we basically calculate it it is calculated from a data i'll uh, make you understand from an excel file 
uh, after a while. So then three here and nine. Let's say you can find these values from Excel directly uh, if you have the data. So relative minimum, as I earlier told that it should be three times of the uh, mean value or standard deviation. Uh, so what I will select here is three. It should be three times of the standard deviation. It will be then uh, three. Now it will be uh, nine. Then this will be nine. This will be one point five. One point five. So okay, this should be a uh, three. So no, we'll select okay. There is an input error. So relative minimum cannot be okay. So that should be uh, basically we can select one because it should not be less than the uh, mean or uh, value. So okay, no. Uh, we'll go to the analysis and we'll compute the results here. Go to the compute. Yes. Okay, save it. Yes. Now you will go to the compute. Oh, sorry. Now you will have to interpret now. So. You will click the interpret. So here you can see the probabilistic results of this law. What these results indicate is basically deterministic factor of safety is 1.132 and the mean factor of safety is 1.152 uh, which is very close to uh, these. What does uh, mean by the uh, mean factor of safety? It is basically the average of all the factor of safety for all the uh, results or samples. So probability of failure, there is 13.5% probability of this slope to fail. So you can see the reliability uh, index. So reliability index normal is 1.183. Usually three reliability index is recommended for the design purpose. So this is if it is plotted for log normal, it is 1.217%. So this is how you can analyze the probabilistic analysis of a slope. So if you want to plot the uh, histogram, which is uh, very important, go to the statistic and uh, go to histogram plot. Now here you have selected soil cohesion. If you want to change it, if you want to change it, uh, factor of safety for Bishop method, uh, you can say, okay, now you can change this as well. Factor of safety. Okay, now. So just go to the plot and you can see the graph here. Similarly, you can change the plot. Uh, you can change the plot, uh, change plot data and uh, you can plot another thing as well between cohesion and you can see the data here, the values which are less than one factor of safety and so on. So. Uh, this is how you can analyze the uh, probabilistic analysis in the slide software. I hope you uh, you have understood the main concept. So uh, if you like the video, so please subscribe and don't forget to share.